Alright, here's the first fan I'm going to be testing down in the basement. This is a Hunter Low Profile Ceiling Fan 42 inches. This is the one I got from Baron C. Johnson. The white motored one, not the black one. The black motored one is the one I got from Mark Wilson. The 42 inch version, you can actually barely even tell it has a white motor. Well, I'm also in the basement, so it kind of makes it harder to see. But, um, yeah. You can kind of see that's a bit off kilter a tiny bit, only because the three hooks that hold the motor in place are a bit bent somewhat. I don't know what happened to it, but it was brand new, basically, when he got it. But, um, you can kind of see it's a bit crooked towards that way. It's like this, it's kind of like this, like towards that way and such. So, um, but it doesn't get in the way. So, um, yeah, this fan I just put up, one, because I kind of want to have something down here that's quieter that will move around air, and two, the Encon, also because the Encon's humming way too much, so I can't keep it 24-7 without my mom finding out. This one, well, she could hear it from upstairs, this one's a lot quieter, so this one should definitely do the job. Also, it's larger. The blades here are not original. Um, these blades are from the 42 inch Summer Breeze, which I don't want to put down here. I could use saw that one, but I'd rather have a hugger. It's easier to install somewhat on this type of setting. But um, this is probably, it probably won't be a permanent fan down here. I'm probably going to install the um, Minka Air Mesa, which I was actually thinking about installing, but I figured I'd install one that I can have as a f testing video, since I never really tested this fan. And then I'll put up the Minka, but that'll probably be in another week or so. Or maybe I'll put up something else I haven't been able to test yet, maybe the another fan that needs to be tested on the mounting bracket. A lot of fans that still need to be tested is the Chesire, the um, what is it? I'm trying to think what other fans need to be tested on this. The Chesire needs to be tested there. The um, Swimline 2, Swimline, Low no Profile, Laguna, CC Georgian, Grayton, those ones still definitely need to go up next. But the Mega Air, I think, will just be the one that I use while I'm not down testing anything. Then when I test it, I'll just take it down for a bit, test something else. Then later on, at some point, I'll put it back up. But, um, yeah, here it is. The fan is from 2001. I think this is like the last year Home Depot sold this fan there. And then 2002, they came up with this version. Except this version is a little bit later because it has a, um, washboard type ways, the surfboard ones. Yeah, surfboard, not washboard, what am I thinking, but. Yeah, here's the Hunter logo. And this one, I think came from, this is definitely a Home Depot version of the Wolves one. Would have a bit, a little bit of a larger switch housing in this one. That's something I've noticed as a kid. When I went there, the switch housing was a lot larger in the Wolves version than the Home Depot or one or from wherever else they sold them. So I mean, let me go ahead and start off on low speed. I already do miss having the Encon up here, but I figure I might as well test something as well. But um, if I do keep the Encon up, I would have to... Don't forget, if I kept the Encon up, it would have to be on only when I'm down here. I'd rather have a fan on all the time, when I'm, even when I'm not down here, just so it keeps the basement nice and cool. Because even though the winter is coming around, I forgot that the... um, I was just going to use the Duracraft that's right behind me, but... What I forgot is that even though it's going to be cool, nice and cool out, or well, it's going to be winter soon... Still gets hot down here because of the boiler, so and with the building having heat on all the time, it's just going to be hot in here either way. So it's going to be really no difference from the summer and such. So definitely need to keep something running twenty four seven down here. All right, now for medium. A good job on medium. Nice and quiet. Now for high.
definitely moves more air than the end cone without a doubt. Not like an insane amount more, it definitely moves more, but the end cone definitely did move good air either way. But this definitely is a bit better. It's larger too, so that's a plus sign. Well, that's a plus about it. If I was going to start, choose out of, two, out of two things I'd rather have up, either this or the Minka Airy, I'd prefer to have the Minka Airy because I already do have a low profile inside of my bedroom. So I'd rather have something different down here. Also, it looks more like a fan you'd see at Walmart, like the ones installed in the store. And it kind of gives me, having all these fans here like on, this, on the shelf kind of reminds me of like being at Walmart as a kid or like a store. So having like a cheap looking hugger installed in here is kind of more of a childhood look. Also, it gives me more like a workbench. Like a work area feel. Which I don't mind this one, but it's a bit, I feel like this is more valuable compared to the Mickey Airy Mesa since this one's not being made no more. But it definitely looks a good amount of air either way. shouldn't be too long on it since the fans bearings haven't broken in and such but that definitely moves a good amount of air so I'll definitely be able to keep this one on and get away with it I actually do like how it looks with the point blades on it and the summer breeze type blades on it I actually think I'm going to keep them on here yeah, I might put the other ones back on it afterwards, but if it, whenever I can find them. But, um, yep, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.